controls. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Will he come here? Nope. Good. The girl doesn't fall for here. Neither should we. Good. We're too close to let tribal primitives stop us now. The data points. What did they contain? That is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities. They don't just kill people. They feed off them? Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Ah, okay. Millennia of evolution liquefied. So the machines the eat of us. Produce a bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please tell him Tom Pike wants a word. No, get off! Get off! And, uh, please, you get Ted Pharaoh in here. Man, a lot of a lot was pissed for Pharaoh. To discuss? Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas global serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the leak of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. You previously worked for Pharaoh Automated Systems. On the chariot line self replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since, since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just, I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all, my work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run... When, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light, there were no limits. Oh. God, there were no limits.
Okay, so I think Operation uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is like uh, Noah's Ark, taking all these people with different backgrounds, cultures, skill sets, experience, knowledge, so that they can reproduce in the next world. Okay, it makes sense. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. So how do we what do that? System require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the re flourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. Ah. That's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly 
and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Whoa, that was freaking heavy. Machine of creation. Machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Uh, you are now in possession of information regarding the true nature of his purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. Parti participation, you may send to sub project team. Mm -hmm. Indefinite detention. Should you choose to decline participation in Project Zero Dawn, you'll be confined indefinitely. Medical euthanasia. Continuing to live if you would prefer to end your life at this point. Damn. Damn, man. In, in order to just survive. This vitally important the candidate choose up to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly. Can I challenge the possibility of Project Zero Dawn? Permit them to review Dr. Sobik's presentation as many times as they wish. Sterilized. <laughs> I have 
habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Damn, man. The doctor chose euthanasia. Did not expect that. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! So it's clearly not everyone likes joining here. Project Zero Dawn. It's either they're confined uh, euthanasia I don't know man just 2,000 people here anything here nothing oh man please oh man I thought it was Oh, I thought it was a freaking core. Okay, let's head back. Intruder, get her. Bad day for one of us. Whatever you do, don't die now. Get the last one here. Zero. 
is art in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance of all the many people in the auditorium that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Oh, okay, so she she joined. The art historian joined. Now, but Travis. Lame FBI black hats and mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute. And just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up on Power's down. I'm just calling it like it is. There another route? Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Just be my Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? And no, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> okay, so Tate joined, man, without a problem. It's freaking funny. Hey, wait, restore the power of the door. Ah oh man, more puzzles. Here we go. Another one of these. We have to find the right configuration. There's a puzzle missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. So we've got left, up, left, down. Left, up, left, down, right, left, down, Duh. I should check the door nearby. Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay, so it's reverse. That's a clue here. But how do I... How do I open this? And there's clearly what the frick is that there, supply crate. Ah, here. Found one. Looks intact. Shite. 
I almost freaking bugged there. Okay, that's down. Down right. Uh, up left. Up left. And then down. What? It's wrong? Down right. Up left. And then down. Or maybe it's the other way around. They should be up. Then this is left. Ah oh, no. That is right. Uh, that would be up. This would be left. This is be down. What? Wait. That should be down. That should be right. That should be up. Should be left and then down. There. Damn. Here's the door. Oh, back. Whoa. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, it's the enemies. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? Much for avoiding contact. How do I get up there? Headshot. Anyway. Get moving. You have to find Gaia. Hello, I'm 
Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, design... Oh, okay. Here's the place. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. More clips. Careful now. We're near her office. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human... and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and process. <laughs> Homer Archai from Far Zenith. in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Okay, we got lots of enemies here. Damn. Mm -hmm. 